Hey friends, I've never shot a studio vlog before and I figured now is a great time to go ahead and start. So I have to run an errand for the shop and I'm gonna take you along with me and then we'll get to the studio thing. showed when I was in the store um, also to work on so I don't think I need anything else I, I also had to get glue um, yeah I think that was all I needed hopefully I don't need anything else all right I'm back home now I'm in my little studio and I'm realizing that I didn't even clean up from the podcast that I just filmed a few days back so I'm gonna do that first and um, then I'm gonna do some prep. I have to, um, I have to clean, like actually use cleaning products and clean my surface and make sure that I get all the lint from the knitting projects up because I don't want, um, I don't want any of the yarn fibery things ending up in my clay. So I'm gonna do that. mostly like in this area this is a lot of stitch markers and things that I use that need to be put away properly I've got mail that I haven't opened and then um, this is like my packing supplies that just they need to be organized better than not I will be doing that some other time right now I have plenty of workspace to work on and that's where I'm gonna be doing my clay stuff this is my current task my plan is to get each of these little heads stuck onto a piece of this squishy, sticky Loctite. It's like poster, poster board tacking stuff. I use it to hold down things that I'm going to work on. Um, and then I'm going to paint faces onto all these little chunks. Now, the deal is, I stopped being a charm person too soon. I have a bunch of these little heads that need to become charms, otherwise they're just gonna be sitting there in my storage container collecting dust. So, although I said I'm not making charms anymore, I am actually going to make however many charms are right here, and then that will be it. Mommy, go, 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 go. 
All right, I've got a lot more of these than I realized. I already counted 38 of these darker brown ones and uh, let's see how many of the medium brown. I've got four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 22, 26, 30, 34, 38 as well. Another 38, so 38 of this brown and 38 of this one and then four, eight, 12, 16, that's it on that one, 20, 24, or, and 25. So I have 25 of the tan, 38 of the medium brown, 38 of the dark brown. Wow. Now, the thing of it is, my main reason for not doing charms anymore was because I personally felt like there's a limit to how much you can really charge for these little tiny things. But I'm realizing um, people might actually pay what they're worth. And so I'm gonna have to charge what they're worth. And if that means they just sit in my store, so be it. Hopefully that's not the case. But I am going to turn all of these, all of these into charms. And I'm gonna charge what I need to charge. And I'm just going to suck it up buttercup and hopefully when I release them they're well received and people don't scoff at the price. Um, each one of these is like a mini masterpiece and I put a lot of work and attention to detail into these and so um, who knows maybe if it's successful maybe I'll be able to continue with charms and maybe I was wrong that the price um, that they're worth is not something that people are willing to pay. We'll see. Time will tell. I'm gonna take a little break from filming so I can go pick up my big kids from school. And when I get back, I will be working on these little faces and I'll let you see my process for painting. Basically, um, I'm gonna use detailing brushes and needles and dotting tools to get these little facial features on these tiny little surfaces. I can't wait to show you my process. I really have never filmed the process of these type of charms before, so I really look forward to that. And maybe I'll do a little bit of filming while I go pick up my big kids from school. Approximately 10 hours later. Once I got back from picking up my kids yesterday, um, it was extremely chaotic. So I'm going to do voiceover for the remainder of the video. And um, it's still chaotic, but it's less chaotic today. So it should work. Right here, I am just starting the painting process and I start with doing the eye white. I don't have a specific um, like location that I want the eyes to be at. I'm just kind of winging it. I don't even know what expression I will want these to have, um, but I'm going in with the dotting tool to keep things simple. On the last set of charms that I did, I actually painted kind of a half circle for the eyes and um, I don't feel like doing that. So dotting tool it is. This whole section is sped up two times because the painting process is kind of slow. I move slow on purpose so that I can intentionally make the right moves. I don't have like the steadiest hands. So, you know. There's 101 charms here that I'm painting. And overall, I believe painting took me about 40 minutes. And that's the entire process of the eye white, the pupil, and like the rest. <laughs> I forgot what else I did. The eyebrows, the noses, and the lips, or the smile.
here's a little real-time action I'm still painting the eye whites at this point and um, I decided as I was going along the process I decided that however they came out they were probably gonna end up looking pretty surprised because having a circular eye white <laughs> It typically leads to an ex expression that seems surprised or something like that, but I'm just going with it.
right here I'm doing the eyebrows and then after I did the eyebrows I did the eye pupils and the smiles all of that is black and the very last step that I did was the noses and I decided not to make them black this time I went ahead and made them brown um, two different shades of brown so you'll see that toward the end this is real-time painting um, same as a uh, when I did the eye whites I move really slowly because cleaning up a mistake is really messy so I move slowly so that I don't make any mistakes and I don't have to worry about wiping paint off and starting over Here I am painting the smiles. I didn't film the process of painting the pupils because yesterday um, my stress levels were like off the charts and I just got into the zone and started painting pupils and realized, oh, I should probably be filming this, but it's all good. I got to the point where um, I was like, y'all are gonna see what you see and that's just gonna be it. Once again, this was last night because um, yesterday was extremely chaotic and so now I'm just finally getting the time to do voiceover today and honestly, I thought today was less chaotic than yesterday but as you can hear, it is not. Today is just as crazy as yesterday was and I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up this whole um, studio vlogging thing because my house is like literally a zoo hang on now that i finished the bulk of the painting it's time to do the noses and i picked this darker brown and it works out for the brown or the medium brown and the tan but it doesn't quite work out for the darker brown charms you don't really see it once it dries so um, I'm gonna end up using a lighter brown for the nose on the dark brown charms going to try to film my entire process from start to finish with these charms but it's going to be about two or three more days of work so I'm going to upload this video and I'll do a part two uh, whenever I can get around to posting it. I'm not sure exactly um, when that will go up but I wanted to go ahead and get this one out. If you like what you've seen so far go ahead and give me a subscribe I'm hoping and praying that I can do some more studio vlogging and um, make this a regular thing here. Thank you so much for watching. From the bottom of my heart, I truly appreciate those of you who take the time to watch my videos, like, comment, and share them. It means so much to me. I really appreciate it. Until next time.